for watching the NBA on 2K Sports as we get ready to go with our Saturday night presentation. This is Brian Anderson with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Allie LaForce, our reporter. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. And it's Jordan in at the two. Right side Edwards. There's the three. Rodman with a rebound. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Conley. Here's Pippen. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Conley. For three, Randall. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Jordan, the pass to Harper. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving. No doubt whatsoever. And so it's Minnesota with it. Chicago making their last shot. Six on the shot clock. Here's Conley. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Hey, this guy is competitive, he's tough, and he'll play through contact. Mike Conley doing work inside. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Conley. And Harper gets it to go. And so it's Minnesota with it. Four-point game. Pass to Gobert. Rodman with a rebound. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Here's Jordan. Over Edwards. Jordan misses. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Here's Randall. And it's Chicago with a board. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Pippen. It's blocked by Gobert. Almost inescapable, that seven foot nine wingspan. Send it back, big Rudy Gobert. Edwards, a pass to McDaniels. And here's Randall. Picked by Gobert. Shot from the wing, and he connects with a jumper. There's such a nice mix of strength and skill. Julius Randle on the attack. Chicago calls timeout. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Rodman, the pass to Harper. Here's Rodman. Pass to Harper. Now Jordan. Shot clock at six. Over Edwards. Jordan misses. And so Randall will bring it up for the T-Wolves. Gobert inside. McDaniels from long range. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. How about Gobert with the find? On time and on target. Nicely done, Rudy. Chicago trailing here. Here's Pippen. Hey, hey, balance it out. Pass to Jordan. Over Edwards. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Chicago. 
Out to the right wing. Randall outside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Randall worked so hard down low, earns him these fouls in the process. He's getting his first free throw attempts of the night now. And he drops the first. And he makes both free throws. So it's Chicago now. They trail by three. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Jordan. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. It's McDaniels on the wing. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And the advantage he has is clear. Just taking what the defense gives him right there. Here's Pippen. McDaniels covering. The fader. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Boy, nice shot. He didn't need the fadeaway to create separation, though. He was wide open. Now here's Conley. Top of the key. Offensive board. The kick out to Edwards. Randall on the screen. From downtown. Edwards. That's good. Edwards, such an explosive score. You don't want to concede that three-point shot. Boy, that's going to make him feel good. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Vincenzo's checked in. That's the long lane. Harper. He's guarded by Conley. Takes a 13-footer. Here's Rodman. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. Outside, DiVincenzo. Randall with it. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Pippen. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Pass to Rodman. Here's Harper. Jordan inside. He's guarded by Conley. Jordan, the pass to Longley. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. And here's Minnesota now. They're on a 14-6 run. Outside Conley. Back to Randall. Hey, 
Out to DiVincenzo. Pass to Randall. This one for three. And DiVincenzo hits from deep. We know Julius Randall can score, but that scoring ability will be set up by that kind of play. What a pretty pass from the big man. Here's Harper. Here's Pippen. DiVincenzo covering. Jordan against Edwards. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Anthony Edwards. Chicago shooting their initial free throws of the game here. Shooting two. Throws good. Jordan. And both free throws good for Jordan. Minnesota leading by five. Conley passes to DiVincenzo. Now Gobert. From deep, Conley. Rodman with a rebound. Rodman's got four rebounds now. Here's Pippen. Here's Jordan. Edwards pulls it in. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Conley finds Edwards. For three, DiVincenzo. He buries it from three. DiVincenzo's got six. And Anthony Edwards plays with joy, and you love to see him get his teammates involved. Pretty pass. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, the Timberwolves are one of the biggest teams in the association, and Coach Chris Finch said, quote, that's how we're built. It's part of our identity. That's what we have to lean into. We want to be big at the rim and force our size on opponents. Brian, he loves to see other teams hesitant to venture into the paint. Hearing footsteps, right? Allie, thanks. Here's Gobert. Chicago making their last shot. Outside Conley. Four on the clock. Takes the three. DiVincenzo can't hit. Bulls trail by six. To the inside. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's on Anthony Edwards. Chicago shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Reeds checked in for Rudy Gobert. Ingles comes in for Anthony Edwards. And it's Alexander Walker in for Conley. One shot. Minnesota leading by three. Alexander Walker with it. Randall draws the double. It's hauled in by Winnington. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Here's Kukoc. Now Jordan over Reed. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 11 points. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Pass to Randall. Randall draws the double. Ingles with it. Out to DiVincenzo. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. Howard down after the assist led him to the lane. Strong defense followed by some smart offense. That's just good fundamentals. 
Outside, Alexander Walker. Here's Reed. And he buries his first look. Just what they wanted from that possession. A quality look in tight. We've got a minute 48 left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Kukoc. To the middle. Stolen by Reed. And here's Alexander Walker. Yet to see a basket. Randall can't hit. Now here's Jordan. Here's Pippen. Shoots over Reed. And the Bulls tack on two more. Oh, such nice touch on that turnaround jumper. That was smooth. And so Randall will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They trail by one. Oh, they get a hand on it. Outside, Alexander Walker from deep. Hits a three-pointer. And the Timberwolves lead by two. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. DiVincenzo against Jordan. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Chicago shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. one falls for him. McDaniels has checked in for Ingles. And both free throws good for Jordan. There's 38 seconds left in the opening quarter. Randall, the pass to McDaniels. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Here's Kukoc. Inside, here's Simpkins. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Nas Reed. Chicago shooting their sixth and seventh free throw shots in the game. Shooting two. Makes a first. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Timberwolves trail. The three, DiVincenzo. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. <laughs> These teams have swapped leads seven times already. And we're not even in the second half. Jordan, the pass to Winnington. Floats one. The shot no good. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Timberwolves ahead. They lead by a bucket. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. 
Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. We've got a lot of game left, but boy, they are doing a tremendous job on the offensive glass. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. And it's Jordan in at the two. Edwards against Jordan. Right side, Edwards. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. And that'll be Minnesota's ball as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves able to keep the possession. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Six on the shot clock. That one's good for two. Alexander Walker's got five points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Willington. Jordan with it. Guarded by Edwards. Jordan against Edwards. Gets rebounded by Minnesota. Here's the break. Oh, Edwards finishes the break. Outstanding touch, boy. The floater is good for Anthony Edwards. Kerr, pass to Jordan. out of bounds. Last touch by Reed. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. You're smothering D right there. Just a tremendous job by Edwards, forcing a difficult shot to the paint. McDaniels passes to Edwards. Six to shoot. Tries a 10-footer. No good. A bit long that time. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Here's Kukoc. Covered by Alexander Walker. Let's the three fly. Bulls keep it alive. Wellington passes to Jordan. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. Here's Alexander Walker. Simpkins grabs the miss. The Bulls trail by six. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Kukoc. DiVincenzo covering. Here's Simpkins. Uses the glass on the layup. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Now here's Edwards. Five points in the game. McDaniels a screen. Edwards looking for an opening. Fires from deep. Chicago grabs the miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Simpkins. Here's Wennington. Reed defending. Here's Wennington. Jordan high post. McDaniels with the rebound. And they're on the break. Edwards on the move. Count it. Edwards has got seven points. Boy, Anthony Edwards out in transition. Knows his teammates made a defensive play and wisely leaks out. Here's Kukoc. DiVincenzo covering. Pass to Simpkins. 
Here's Kerr. He's scoreless. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Ingles, he's checked in for Minnesota. The Bulls making a switch here. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Edwards, a pass to Reed. Outside, DiVincenzo. There's a screen. Down low. Here's Alexander Walker. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Pass to Jordan. Here's Kukoc. Ingles defending. And the shot's good. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. DiVincenzo with it. Nine points in the game. Reed to screen on Jordan. DiVincenzo finds Edwards. And they double up Edwards. Outside, Ingles. No good on the triple. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Here's Kukoc. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now just a two-point Timberwolves lead. And it's Edwards with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Outside, DiVincenzo. in the post misses from short range here's Kerr guarded by Edwards Kerr pass to Kukoc now here's Jordan shot clock at five and DiVincenzo comes to help stolen by Ingles pass to Edwards Four three. Chicago with a rebound. Here's Harper. Now Jordan. Here's Kukoc. Five to shoot. Shoots a fadeaway. Yep, that one goes. Kukoc has got six here in the quarter. Certainly not the best look, but I admire the confidence to let it fly. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Edwards. They get back on track. Harper pulls it in. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. And here's Jordan, guarded by Edwards. Edwards against Jordan. 14 feet away. Reed with the rebound. From the strike. Inside. Edwards lays it in. Well, if you find yourself in between in that mid-range area, Anthony Edwards so confident. Rise and fire, young sir. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. here. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Reed. Randall comes in for Ingles. McDaniels is checked in for DiVincenzo. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Alexander Walker.
Here's Pippin. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Rudy Gobert picks one up. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Shooting two. misses <laughs> and he's good on the second Minnesota in the lead. Outside Edwards. It's McDaniels on the wing. Five points in the game. Randall, good. Well, you've got to be decisive in catch and shoot situations, and Julius Randall leaves no doubt. Here's Pippen, guarded by Edwards. And Gobert with a block. Out of bounds. Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Pass to Pippen. Spins. The offensive rebound. Oh, just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances. Came up empty. Left side, Conley. The shot from the low post is good. And the Timberwolves lead by six. Well, inside, Mike Conley has got to be savvy, and he is in that instance. Pippen, pass to Rodman. Here's Kukoc. Give him eight points now. Clock at six. Here's Pippen, guarded by Edwards. Pippen, no good. The Timberwolves lead by six. And now the T-Wolves on the break. Got it. That bucket makes him just three for ten. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. Here's Pippen. He's got five. Here's Kukoc. With the drive, and the layup is good off the glass. Kukoc has got 10. And here's Randall. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Six-point lead. Outside Edwards. McDaniels from long range. Counted from distance. Give him eight points now. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Harper. Here's Kukoc. McDaniels covering. They grab their own miss. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Now Gobert. Outside McDaniels. Picked by Gobert. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Minnesota shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That free throw, no good. Sport, 
Good on the second one. The Bulls trail by 10. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian Anthony Edwards, his disposition just brightens a locker room. Coach Chris Finch said he's an absolute joy to coach. Always in a great mood with a great smile. It doesn't matter if he plays well or he doesn't. Every day he has the same approach and the same attitude. And he wants to be great, Allie. There's no doubt about that. And he's good on the first of three. He does not get the second one. And he nails the third. And here's Conley. Randall outside. Back to Conley. And here's Edwards outside. Chicago with a rebound. Here's Pippen. He has seven. Here's Kerr. Soft touch off the glass. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. Minnesota leading by six. Conley passes to Gobert. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of this game. Pass to Edwards. Six to shoot. Oh! The triple. I think his teammates understand that Anthony Edwards has every aspect of his offensive game working, so let's make sure he's got the basketball. Here's Kerr. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Conley. Ooh, McDaniels with a steal. The shot by Conley. No good. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Harper passes to Pippen. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. But you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Here's Edwards. 12 points for him. Launches a three. The shot off that time. Anthony Edwards has been on display for Minnesota. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We'll be right back.
Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Minnesota leading by nine. And is at the two with McDaniels playing the three. Julius Randle out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. And that's the group for Chris Finch as we begin. The oh, oh, wow! Oh, give me a little sauce. Anthony Edwards rise high and finish over the defender. Now here's Jordan. Edwards comes with a double team. Six on the shot clock. Jordan against Edwards. Jordan misses. I'll tell you, this has not been his game. He's making it worse with shot selection like that. And Gobert with the stuff. I love that Rudy left no doubt. Show off that power, Rudy. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Conley. Jordan against Edwards. Pass to Harper. And that one good. Harper's got six. He gets inside right when he sees the opening. Got to attack when you have that chance. Outside McDaniels. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Conley. And a nice finish on the layup. He's got six. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Jordan up top. Gobert with the double. Back to Jordan. Pass to Pippen. The three is up. Connects from downtown. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Randall with it. He's got nine. And here's McDaniels. Edwards with it. Over Jordan. Chicago with a rebound. Jordan's got a rebound number five here tonight. Inside, here's Rodman. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First one falls. Good on both. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And Chris Finch has called timeout. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. It's time for the McDaniels. Randall 
right side. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, Julius Randle is never going to back away from a defensive player. He knows he's got the strength to play through contact. Nice job drawing the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops a first. And Randall drops them both. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Here's Harper. Six points for him. Pass to Jordan. Over Edwards. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Takes a step back. Conley finds Randall. Now Gobert. Now here's Edwards. Covered by Jordan. Shot clock at six. Edwards against Jordan. Edwards, no good. Bulls trail by ten. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. To the wing on the left. Jordan against Randall. And he knocks down the 10-footer. Jordan's got 15. And I love it. Challenging the bigger defender and showing plenty of heart. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. Conley looking for an opening. Drills it from deep. He's got nine. Well, just such a smooth, pretty lefty stroke. That three-point opportunity for Mike Conley. Yes, sir. There's a screen. Here's Jordan. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Gobert. Outside Conley. It's McDaniels on the wing. Fires the three. Rodman with a rebound. Rodman's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Edwards comes with a double team. Pass to Longley. Lays it up and banks it in. Longley's gotten his first bucket of the night. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. Conley passes to Randall. Back to Conley. Randall outside. Jacks up a three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. The Bulls trail by nine. Pass to Harper. Back to Jordan. Lots of room. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Edwards against Jordan. Now here's Edwards. He's covered closely. Some solid defense from Jordan. Shoots it from the high post. Second chance shot. And Gobert with a block. Jordan against Edwards. To the paint. Here's Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. The Bulls trail by nine. Here's Harper. He's got six. And here's Jordan. Over Edwards. Jordan misses. 
And so Conley will bring it up for Minnesota. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Gobert finds Edwards. Here's Randall. On target from about 13 feet. Randall's got 13. Randall has got excellent handle, so you have to respect him off the dribble drive. Chicago calls timeout. And Minnesota making a change here. DiVincenzo's checked in. The Bulls trail by 11. Here's Harper. Pass to Pippen. Here's Jordan. He can't hit that time. Randall with some nice D. And here comes the break. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Oh. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Timberwolves. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. No good on that one. And Minnesota with some changes. Ingles, he's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Alexander Walker in for Anthony Edwards. And the second free throw is good. Now here's Randall. 13 points in the game. Randall on the screen. DiVincenzo with it. Jordan picks him up. Go Bear! Hammers it home! You know, the assist is the key part of that play. The pace on the bounce pass, perfect. Harper passes to Pippen. Jordan up top. Looking to get back on track. And it's good on the lay-in. Jordan's got 19 points. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Pass to Ingles. Now here's Randall. The kick out to Ingles. The three-pointer off the mark. The Bulls trail by 10. Here's Kukoc. Here's Longley. Defended by Gobert. They get it back. Tries again. Longley. That's good. Longley's got four points in the quarter. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Pulls up at the elbow. Gets a hand on it. It's good. On the putback. Randall's got 15. Real smooth, guys. Great job with the tip-in. Those are the kind of plays on the offensive glass that can tell you a lot about a player. Jordan with the bucket. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. Randall, right side. Outside, Alexander Walker. Here's Kukoc. Check by Randall. Kukoc, no good. The Timberwolves lead by eight. Randall inside. He's got 15. And that one drops. And it comes off an assist from Ingles. Guard him big, guard him small. Julius Randall is so crafty on the interior. It matters not. He's going to finish. Jordan up top. They get the rebound. Longley nails the baby hook. He has six. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. 
Randall inside. Fade away. Rebounded by Pippen. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Here's Jordan. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Jordan's got 10 points in just the second half. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Ingles. A minute and a half left in the third. Rudy Gobert finishes strong inside. Over the course of his career, Rudy Gobert has become so much better finishing inside. And the Bulls call time here. comes in for Rudy Gobert, and it's Edwards in for Julius Randle. Bulls trail by eight. 114 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Here's Kukoc. DiVincenzo covering. Kukoc, the pass to Simpkins. Here's Pippen. He's got 10. Here's Kerr. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Alexander Walker. Edwards, the pass to DiVincenzo. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Guys, you have to put a body on Anthony Edwards. This guy is too skilled and too strong. Minnesota shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. The throw good, Edwards. Well, we know Edwards has an impressive skill set, but what really separates him is the competitive edge that he plays with. And both free throws good for Edwards. The Bulls trail by 10. Pippen, pass to Kukoc. They set the screen to the inside. Here's Wennington. And he throws it down with one hand. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Left side, Edwards. Anthony Edwards is a load to handle as a defender. This guy's got the frame and the skill to make it very difficult. And this will be a second trip to the free throw line. Shooting two. First one falls for him. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Bulls trail by nine. Curb pass to Pippen. On the take. Here's Wennington. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. Time for a quick break. Then back to the action.
And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And for Chicago, let's take a look. And it's Kerr in at the point guard position. Here's Kukoc. DiVincenzo covering. Into the lane. All sorts of time. Shots good by Kukoc. The Timberwolves lead by seven. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Reed. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Wennington's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Kerr. Here's Kukoc. To the middle. Stolen by Ingles. Fast break, Minnesota. Alexander Walker with the bucket. And the Timberwolves lead by nine. <laughs> it, it all happened in an instant. Turning defense into offense. Love it. Well, just terrific anticipation to force the turnover and ignite the break. Here's Pippen. Guarded by Edwards. Pippen, no good. So it's Minnesota now. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Well, Joe Ingles takes you by surprise off that dunk. Nice. Bulls trail by 11. Pippen, pass to Kukoc. They set a pick to the inside. Here's Wennington. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Nas Reed. Off on the first. Miller's checked in for Ingles. And he sinks the second. And so it's Edwards who brings up the ball for the Timberwolves. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. And there's the screen. Six to shoot. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Pippen's got four rebounds now. All right, time for an injury report. Guys, I was able to catch up with Chicago's head athletic trainer. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound good at all. He's likely going to be out for a while. All right, Allie, thank you. Sadly, that's not the news fans were hoping for, guys. Definitely not. Seems like he's got a long, tough road ahead of him. And our hearts go out to him. The guy works so hard. His teammates love him. Coaches love him. He's going to be missed. Miller outside. Launches it. Pure from three-point range. Miller's got his first three points of the game. Listen, even average three-point shooters are going to make that shot. Defense must be better. Here's Kukoc. DiVincenzo covering. Hits it from the high post. Kukoc has got four points now in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Shot is good by Edwards. Doesn't matter where on the floor Anthony Edwards is. That shot mechanic so pretty, so fluid. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Shot from 12. Miller pulls it in. Minnesota leading by 13. Outside, DiVincenzo. 
Nice spin off the left rim and in. Edwards has got 21. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Here's Kukoc. And they recover it. Kerr, the pass to Pippen. Here's Kukoc. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Reed. Julius Randle comes in for Miller. And Conley subbed in for Alexander Walker. Timberwolves lead by 12. Randall outside. Pass to Edwards. Shoots. Offensive rebound. Gobert. Gobert using his size to his advantage. Listen, at just over seven feet, we know Gobert is going to be terrific on the glass. Here's Kukoc. Check by Randall. Kukoc, no good. And here are the Timberwolves. DiVincenzo with it. Jordan picks him up. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Here's Kukoc. Cash. He's 9 for 14 in the game. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. Pass to Edwards. Let's the three fly. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Kukoc. Edwards' is screen on Randall. Edwards with it. Six on the shot clock. Here's Kukoc. Checked by Randall. And the shot goes in. Kukoc has got 22. The Timberwolves lead by 10. Conley passes to Gobert. Outside Edwards. Inside. Here's Randall. Edwards pulls it in. They're looking to trim the deficit to single digits. Here's Kukoc. He's guarded by Conley. Kukoc, the pass to Edwards. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Outside Edwards. Back to Randall. For three. Knocks it down from distance. 20 points for him. Yeah, a shot that Randall has added to his repertoire. Shooting the three with confidence now. Here's Kukoc. Checked by Randall. Edwards' a screen on Randall. Here's Kukoc. Rebound Minnesota. Randall outside. A rebound by Kukoc. Kukoc has got four rebounds now. Pass to Harper. Here's Kukoc. Now Edwards. Defended by Gobert. Jordan high post. Clock at six. He shoots over DiVincenzo. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. St. Daniels has checked in for Minnesota.
Here's Jordan. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. It's blocked by Gobert. Here's Randall. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Free throw drops for Randall. Here's Pippen. Pass to Harper. Here's Jordan. Gets rebounded by Minnesota. Edwards got six rebounds in the game. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. On defense, the Bulls. It's a 14-point game. Count it. Good. Edwards has got 11 points here in the second half. Well, don't think twice. Ball touches your hands. You let it go, Anthony Edwards. Jordan up top. To halt the run. No good off the glass. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Boy, he overdid it there. Too much force on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant one. You know, it's just hard to watch a player put the well-being of an opponent at risk. He rightfully earned that flagrant. Yeah, the officials are all over that one, sending a clear message that that kind of roughness is unacceptable. Shoot two. Free throw drops for Randall. That one's no good. From the inbound. Chicago with a rebound. Longley's got a rebound. Number five here tonight. Here's Pippen. Count it. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Minnesota leading by 15. Randall outside. Edwards against Jordan. Let's go with a three. Rodman with a rebound. Rodman's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Harper. Pass to Pippen. Here's Rodman. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Conley. Six on the shot clock. And the shot goes down. Jordan's got 25 points. Conley with the ball. Edwards with it. Outside McDaniels. Sends it home from three-point land. They're really employing a deep-range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Edwards against Jordan. Pass to Harper. Four on the clock. 
Up and over Conley. Here's Rodman. Here's Longley. Now Jordan. Over McDaniels. Makes good on the step back jumper. Jordan's got 14 points now in the second half. The defense was certainly a little late in reacting to the step back. And so Conley will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Randall finds Conley. Boy, don't let the small frame fool you. Mike Conley so tough on the interior. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Garza's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Reed comes in for Julius Randle. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for McDaniels. And Conley drops them both. Here's Kukoc. 1-11 left in the fourth quarter here. Kukoc, great positioning on the putback. Here is DiVincenzo. Pass to Reed. Outside Edwards. Back to Reed. Chicago with a the rebound. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Kukoc. Here's Sally. Reed defending. Here's Wennington. From down in the low post, it goes. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. grabbing this one. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. And time now to introduce our player of the game, Anthony Edwards.